Number 60. Complete the changes in concentration or pressure, if requested, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we basically have to find out what the change in the concentration is for 2SO3 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2SO2 gas plus O2 gas. Now I just want to make a point here is that we do not know the initial concentrations of the three species or the equilibrium. We're only trying to find out how much this you know, each species increased or decreased. And that's what these two lines represent. Now let's start with the information that they gave us. They told us that O2 gas changed by plus X, resulting in 0 0.125 molarity. Let's start off with the, the, the sign of this. Now they're saying that O2 went up, right? A plus signifies that we went up. So... If the product went up, that means that all the products increase. So if O2 is going up by a number, that means that SO2 also has to, be, has to also be going up by a number. So I can say that this at least would be a plus value. Coming down to the reactants, if the products are increasing, that means that the reactants have to be decreasing. And we signify that by a minus. So I know right now that the SO2 has to be a plus, and the SO3 has to be going down by some amount. Now let's figure out what that is. Now we're going to be looking at the coefficients. Now there's a 2 in front of the SO3, there's a 2 in front of the SO2, and there was a 1, right, in front of the O2. There was no number, but remember, that means 1. So for the O2, since there was 1, it would be plus 1, x. And you know, if there's a 1x, we usually don't put the number there. But now since we have different coefficients, we have to put the number in front. So this would be plus 2x, right? Because this was a plus 1x because the 1 just represents what the coefficient is. So this would be plus 2x because I have 2 times the amount. And then for this one, it would be minus 2 so minus 2x. Now, we just have to fill in the numbers. Well, they did tell us that the x value was this, right? We know that x has to be 0 0.125 molarity. So what would 2x be? Well, all I would have to do is just times by this, right? 2x would be 2 times 0 0.125. And then let's figure what that is. 2 times 0.125, I get 0 0.25. If you need sig figs, we'll just add a 0 at the end here. And that's what these molarities would be for the SO2 and the SO3. So this would, the SO2 would increase, because it's a plus, it would increase by 0 0.250 molarity. And this would decrease by 0 0.250 molarity. Keep in mind, remember, we don't know the initials. So for the SO3, for example, it had to be a higher number than this that we initially started off with because we can't have negative molarity. So maybe this was like 0 0.5 that we initially had. This is the change. You're dropping it down 0.5 minus 2, uh, 0.25 to get an equilibrium value. But all we're doing here is just figuring out what the changes would be. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.